Hey guys, it's Anne and for the next today's video is gonna be about a product review of the most talked about cushion foundation cream. I am wearing it today. Here on this side is the L'Oreal Lumi and on this side is the Physician Formula One. I didn't really want to wear it today because we're going out. We're gonna watch a movie. So here's the compare both of them. The blue one is the Physician Formula which came with a box and almost all the infos are there. Both of them are made out of plastic. Of course, the L'Oreal Lumi has more writings in the front. In both of them, I got the medium shade. The formula just says medium and then the L'Oreal Lumi says N4 or beige. The Physician Formula is 0.47 fluid ounce and then the L'Oreal Lumi is 0.51 ounce. The Physician Formula doesn't say where it's made from but it just says uh, Physician Formula Inc. City of Industry, California. And then the L'Oreal Lumi says made in Korea. The formula indicates expiry date while the L'Oreal Lumi does not have. And I think the Physician Formula, it focused mainly on the SPF 50. The L'Oreal Lumi doesn't have SPF. Here's how it looks like once you open. Both of them have mirrors. And this is the puff. Almost, they almost look and feel the same. Though. Both of them has a sticker that says close tightly because it has a tendency to dry That's out. how the product looks like. It's literally just a cushion foam that was poured with liquid foundation. The Physician Formula looks a bit darker than the L'Oreal Lumi. You know in my review I always show how the product looks like and there's gonna have time check-ins and here's the video. So I'm gonna be using both of them today. On the right side of my face I'm using the Physician Formula. That's the one with the blue packaging and on the left side of my face I'm using the L'Oreal Lumi. Okay these both came with the puff sponge and I personally didn't like it. I had to keep on going back and forth just to get more products. That's the first layer and then I decided to use my beauty blender which is way better I mean in my opinion and I've also used my flat kabuki. I did not like it also. Both of them is almost the same light to medium coverage, Both luminous, the application and even the puff sponge that came with it are almost the same. Okay I'm gonna be using my Chanel powder foundation just to set the foundation just so that it's not gonna move for the whole day you know the foundation because it's too luminous also and today I decided to also put my Laura Mercier translucent powder because I'm not super satisfied with my under eye coverage these are the products that I've used very minimal of this like Kevin Aquan powder contour and then some Laura Geller blush on a little bit of the highlight from Anastasia and I'll be putting this later okay okay time check initial check-in it's 104 in the afternoon here's the before and after application this one is from the L'Oreal Lumi okay this is how it looks like using the natural lighting I'm inside the car So this is how it looks like after five hours the oiliness going on here I did not apply any setting spray today just so we can really test the product so here's a closer look of how it looks like after five hours so both products are still there. They both look smooth. It's like your skin but better look. But here's the thing. <laughs> My freckles and some dark spots are already starting to show up. You know, some foundations at the end of the day, they blend to my skin better. But these two, I'd say, not that much. And both of them made my nose area oily. Time check. This is... 11.15 at night time. This is after 10 hours and he doesn't want me to film anymore. He's tired. <laughs> so this is how it looks like after 10 hours. Okay, what are my final thoughts? Both of them are luminous finish. Luminous meaning dewy, meaning not matte. If you have dry skin, maybe you're gonna like it, but I don't really recommend this for people who have for oily skin. Oh, and you're not gonna like it. You're not gonna love it. You're actually gonna hate it. <laughs> Both of them are light to medium coverage and it's saying buildable, but no matter how I, I was building it up, I'm not getting the coverage that I really like. If you have some dark spots or some acne scars, you have to still use some concealer to hide it. For Physician Formulas shade is a bit darker, which I don't mind, which I actually like. Which one is smoother? I thought initially the, the Lumi, but it's almost the same, like really almost the same. If you're thinking of getting which one is the price. This is like 19 dollars 
I think I got the L'Oreal Lumi for $15. Do I recommend it? No, I don't really recommend it. Especially if you have oily skin. Oh my god, you're not gonna like this product. See, now we're just gonna go up. We're just gonna go to movie. But still, I didn't want to use it. But because I'm gonna film, I said, okay, let me use it. But if I have the choice, I'm not gonna use it for, like, if I'm gonna go out or special occasion. Especially special occasion. Because end of the day, it washes off. It doesn't really stay put until end of the day. Only thing that I super love about it is when I'm applying my cream contour kit for Stasia Beverly Hills. It glides on so smooth. Yeah, it's something different. It's it's like a liquid foundation that was poured into a foam. Number one reason why I still don't, I'm not super in love with it is hygiene reason because especially if you're a makeup artist and you're gonna be using this foundation you will have to dip your your sponge or beauty blender like that and then you're gonna apply it to the face and then of course you have to build up the foundation and then you're gonna dip it again and then you're gonna apply it to the face again you know what I'm saying I mean you know it's gonna be left on the cushion hygiene purposes and I don't know it's so messy the foundation is all over the place if I have to choose just one which one do I choose uh, if I really have a choice not to choose it I'm not but if I have one choice maybe just the L'Oreal Lumi because I mean it made me more oily but the price but because it's almost the same, both of them, the application, like smooth, flawless, your skin but better look, but the price, this one is cheaper. And both of them made, made me oily, so, but this is more oily, so, I don't know. You know the consistency, how you apply it, smooth, light to medium coverage, you can build it up. It's almost really the same, but I think you're going to be getting more product with this, with this liquid foundation. So I've been using this for almost... Maybe more than 10 days and every day consistently of course it gave me three pieces of acne <laughs> I mean my skin is always like that it's very sensitive whenever I have whenever I'm trying new products keep in mind with foundation it will always depend on what moisturizer you're using what foundation primer you're using if you guys are curious i'm using i can't find my sarah v i think that's about it thank you so much for watching i hope this video is helpful to you if it is please give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe if you haven't done so and don't forget choose to do good whenever you can it's always for the better bye have a good one god bless you